Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, and I'm gonna be telling you the story of Saint Rita of Cassia in my brand new video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos and new updates. See you soon. Bye bye. Saint Rita was born Margherita Lotti in Rocca Parana, Italy, in 1381. In 1381, <coughs> <coughs> the day after her birth, the day after her baptism, Rita was surrounded by a swarm of white bees, which went in and out of her infant mouth without hurting her. Rather than being alarmed, rather than being alarmed, her family believed she was marked to be virtuous and devoted to God. At an early age, she begged her parents to allow her to enter a convent but was instead arranged to be married to a cruel man named Paolo Mancini. Young Rita became a wife and mother at only 12 years of age and her husband was a man of violent temper in anger, he often mistreated Rita verbally and physically. He was also known to pursue other women and he had many enemies. <coughs> Paolo had many enemies in Cassia, but Rita's influence over him eventually led him to be a better man. He even <coughs> to be a better man. He even renounced a family feud between the Mancinis and Chiquis. Unfortunately, the feud between the Mancini and Cassia family grew too violent, too violent, too violent, too violent, and one of Paolo's allies and one of Paolo's allies betrayed and killed him. Following her husband's death, Rita gave his mother a public pardon, but Paolo's brother Bernard, but Paolo's brother Bernardo. Bernardo, okay, but was still angry and encouraged Rita's two sons and encouraged Rita's two sons Giovanni Antonio and Paolo Maria to join the feud under their uncle's leadership Each boy became more and more like their father had been before Rita married him and they wanted to avenge their father's mother avenge their father's mother <coughs> Rita, Rita attempted to stop them, but both of her sons were determined to revenge their slain father. Rita prayed to God, asking him to take her sons before they lost their souls to the mortal sin of murder. murder. One year later, her prayers were answered when both of her sons fell prey to dysentery, to dysentery and died. Following her <clears throat> following the death of following the deaths of her, following the death of her sons Rita attempted to, to enter the monastery of Saint Mary Magdalene in Cassia but she was not allowed to join through Rita's character and piety were recognized her husband's association with the family feud was greatly feared when Rita persisted the convent told her she could join if she could find a way, a way to mend to wound between the Chiquis and Mancinis. After asking Saint John the Baptist, Saint Augustine, Saint Augustine of Hippo, and Saint Nicholas of Tolentino to help her in her task, <coughs> she attempted to end the feud. The bubonic plague had been through Italy at that time, and when. Bernardo and when Bernardo Mancini became infected, he finally abolished the feud with the Chiqui family. Family, once the conflict was resolved, Rita was allowed to enter the monastery at the age of 36. It is said that she was transported into the monastery of Saint Magdalene through levitation at night by the, pra by the patron saints she appealed to. While at the monastery, while at the monastery, Rita Rita performed her duties faithfully and received the sacraments frequently. 
Rita had a great devotion to the, to the Passion of Christ, and one day, when she was 60 years old, she asked, Please let me suffer like you, Divine Savior. After her request, a wound appeared on her forehead, as if a thorn from Christ's crown had pierced her. It left a deep wound which did not heal, and it caused her to suffer until the day she died. It is said that as she neared the end of her life, Rita was bedridden from tuberculosis. It was then that she asked a cousin who had come. Oh, <clears throat> it was her. It was then that she asked a cousin who had come to visit Fra for a rose from the garden in her home in her old home as it was january her cousin did not expect to find any roses but there was a single rose in bloom which was brought back to rita at the convent she passed away four months later on may 22nd 1457 she was 76 years old when she died following her death she was buried at the Basilica of Cassia and was later discovered to be incorrupt. Her body can be <coughs> her body can be found today in the Saint Rita Shrine at Cassia. Rita was beatified by Pope Urban VII in 1627 <coughs> and canonized by Pope Leo XIII on May 24, 1900. Saint Rita is often portrayed in a black habit, which is historically inaccurate as the sisters or sisters at the Saint Magdalene Monastery wore beige or brown. She is also often shown to hold a thorn, a large crucifix, or a palm leaf with three thorns to represent her husband and two sons. In some, in some images, Saint Rita is shown to have a wound on her forehead, holding a rose, or to be surrounded by bees. Her feast day, her feast day, is on May twenty second. May twenty second. Her feast day is on May twenty second, and she is the patron saint of impossible cases, difficult marriages, and parent and parenthood. I hope you, everyone. I'll help. I hope you, everyone. I'll be seeing you in my brand new video. Bye.